Yeah, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, you know what? Today's Tuesday, July the 21st, 2020. Meaning I've got a happy birthday shout out going out to Jill Purvis Brinkman and Shenandoah Bratelli. So, without further ado, here's a birthday song for the two of you. Hey, Jill. Hey, Shenandoah. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So, happy birthday, I'm going to say. You know you're one more year older today, so happy birthday to you, I say. I said, hey, Shenandoah and Jill, I heard it's your birthday today. So, happy birthday to you, I say. You know you're one more year older today, so... Happy birthday to you, I say, and many more. Cha 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 cha. Also got a Facebook poke, uh, Facebook friend poke shout out to um, Amanda Sue Little. Every day she po a poke comes my way from Amanda Sue Little. Alrighty, hey, that being said, it's about time for our uh local weather forecast which is scattered thunderstorms boy i tell you what had one while ago that knocked me clean off my hello hello all right here we go sorry about that that was a phone conversation that jumped right on in there and well i wasn't ready for it but there it was anyway hey tonight we got some scattered thunderstorms and storms may uh, contain strong gusty winds lows around 73 degrees fahrenheit with winds southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour chances of rain 60 percent i'm gonna say a bit higher my brother tells me I got another storm coming in right away, so I got to bump this right on along because, well, if I don't, I've got, uh, I might get knocked offline again like I was earlier. So here we go. Wednesday, July the 22nd, considerable cloudy early in the day, some decreasing in clouds later on in the day. A stray shower or thunderstorm is quite possible. Highs near 90 degrees Fahrenheit and winds west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. A few clouds and a stray shower or thunderstorm is quite possible overnight with lows around 71 degrees Fahrenheit and winds are going to be light and variable. Alrighty then, how about Thursday, July the 23rd, partly cloudy skies with afternoon showers or a thunderstorms, highs near 90 degrees Fahrenheit and winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour, chances of rain 40%, and then a few clouds from time to time and a stray shower or thunderstorm is possible, flows around 73 degrees Fahrenheit and winds light and variable, and then how about Friday, my son's birthday, July the 24th. Partly cloudy skies, that'd be Thomas Briscoe. Birthday on July the 24th. Partly cloudy skies, a stray shower or a thunderstorm is possible. Highs around 88 degrees Fahrenheit with winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then clear and low of around 74 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour overnight. And then Saturday. July the 25th, generally sunny skies, despite a few afternoon clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Highs around 92 degrees Fahrenheit, with winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies, lows around 73 degrees Fahrenheit, with winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then Sunday, yes, Sunday, July the 26th, partly cloudy skies, highs around 94 degrees Fahrenheit, with winds southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then partly cloudy skies with low temperatures around 74 degrees Fahrenheit, with winds light and variable, uh, pretty close to 5 miles per hour from the southwest throughout the night. And so that concludes the a five-day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area. All righty then. Give me a second here because I'm wobbly. Uh-uh. 
she had already the money was already there before yeah Thank you for doing it that way. why I got paid a sufficient amount oh okay yeah I said I, 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 I well I pretty much told her I said you know uh I don't know what this what was up with this uh with this uh uh Stefan thing, but when Jasmine said that she could handle, that she wanted the five days a week, and she's worked here before, and Stefan says, you know what, what we're going to do is we're going to just start yet three days a week. And I'm, and I'm like, uh, and I said, what about the other two days a week? Well, he, he just... He assumed that Beverly was going to cover those two days a week. And I said, she can't do that. She's got her weekend days. Those are her days. And I I, descri I described your daily schedule to her. I said, Beverly gets up at 5 o'clock in the morning. She drives for two hours. She comes back here. She gets me up out of bed. She goes back, picks her son up, and she takes him home. Then she comes back here. She cooks and prepares a meal. And then she uh, puts me back to bed. Now, in the meantime, she goes over to her, to her trailer and she mows the lawn and she feeds her cat. And then she work, tries to work on that trailer, getting it ready so that she can move into it. And all these things have to occur each and every day. And Beverly's doing that. And not only that, I mean, not on, and on top of that, she's taking care of me too. This is just too much. And she said, she said, yeah, she does have a very full plate. And I, I said, yes, she does. So that's pretty much what I said. I didn't exactly say, I didn't say she's not going to work those two days. I said, I gave her your schedule and said, she's just got too much on her plate. She cannot handle those extra extra days during the week. She's got her weekends. That's all she really needs or wants, I mean. So maybe I did say it. Maybe I did end up saying it just a roundabout way. All right, I got to get back down here and see if I, hopefully I didn't lose my pause Uh, song lyrics. What was I going to do? Song lyrics from the movie, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Alrighty then, let's see if I can't get back into it here. Uh, here's a little bit of a, here's a little bit of a, a, a song for you. One evening as the sun went down and the jingle fires were burning, down the tracks came a hobo hiking, and he said, boys, I'm not turning, I'm headed for the land that's far away, beside the crystal fountains, so come with me, we'll go and see the big rock candy mountains. In the big rock candy mountains, there's a land that's fair and bright, where a hound elves go and on bushes, and you sleep out every night, where the box call cars are all empty, and the sun shines every day. And the birds and the bees and the cigarette trees and the lemons, lemonade springs were in the bluebird sings in the big rock candy mountains. 
in the big rock candy mountains all the cows have wooden legs and the bulldogs all have rubber teeth and the hens lay soft old eggs well the farmers trees are full of fruit and the barns are full of hay oh i'm bound to go where there ain't no snow when the rain don't fall and the winds don't blow in the big rock candy mountains in the big rock candy mountains you never change your socks and the little streams of alcohol come trickling down the rocks the brakemans have to tie their hats and the railway bulls are blind there's a lake of stew the you paddle around in a big canoe in the big rock candy mountains in the big rock candy mountains the jails are made of tin and you can walk right out again and you as soon as you are in there ain't no short-handled shovels no axes saws or picks i'm bound to stay where the where you sleep all day when you hang the jerk that invented work in the big rock candy mountains i'll see you all this a coming fall in the big rock candy mountains there you go how about that how about that one? Uh, let's see. Anything else? Let's see if we can do anything else. We'll try this one. As I went down to the river to pray, studying about the good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown? God, Lord, show me the way. Oh, sister, come on down. Let's go down. Come on down. Oh, sister, let's go down. Down to the river to pray. As I went down to the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the robe and crown? Good Lord, show me the way. Oh, brother, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Come on, brother, let's go down, down to the river to pray. As I went down to the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown, good Lord, show me the way. Oh, Father, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, Father, let's go down, down in the river to pray. As I went down to the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the robe and crown, good Lord, show me the way. Oh, mother, let's go down, let's go down, don't you want to go down? Come on, mother, let's go down, down to the river and pray. As I went down to the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown, good Lord, show me the way. Oh, sinners, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, sinners, let's go down, down to the river to pray. As I went down to the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the robe and crown, good Lord, show me the way. Good Lord, show me the way. All right, Woo. looks like that big storms are coming in again. All right, well, hey, friends, let's go ahead and do our portion of the program called uh, Bedtime for Kids. <laughs> bedtime for Kids, it's bedtime story time. That's right.
time to read off a story for the kids. And you know we have been doing the Brothers Grimm. And well, I guess we can do uh, the Mirage, oh, the marriage of Mrs. Renard. Renyard. Renyard? Renard. We'll go with Renard. It's spelled R A R R E Y N A R D. So we'll just call it Renard. There was once an old fox who thought that his wife was not true to him. And de determined to put her to the test, he stretched himself under the bank, lay motionless and pretend to be as dead as a doornail. Miss Renyard went to her chamber and shut herself in, and her servant, Mr. servant's mistress cat sat by the fire and cooked the dinner. Now, when it became known that the old fox was dead, suitors began to announce themselves, and soon afterwards the servant heard some someone knocking at the front door she went and opened the door and there stood a young fox who said what are you doing pray mistress cat sleeping or walking on or what are ye at she answered I am not asleep, I am wide awake. If ye want to know what now I make, I am warm, warming beer with butter in it. I beg you'll taste it in a minute. I am in much obliged, mistress, said the fox. What is Miss Renyard doing? The maid answered. In the chamber... In the chamber, said she, sits alone and s ceases not with grief to moan. She weeps until her eyes are red because the dear old fox is dead. Well, just tell her, mistress, that there is a young fox here. Just tell your mistress that there is a young fox here who would like to be her woo to who would like to woo her very well, young gentleman said uh and then went the cat with pit a pat and smote the door smote the door rat a tat tat pray, Miss Renard, are you in? Outside, a wooer awaits below. What, what, what is he like? I want to know. Has he got nine such beautiful tails, all that la late laminated, Mr. Renard? Oh, dear, no, answered the cat. He has only got one. Then I won't have him. Mistress Cat went down and sent the wooer away. Soon after this, the door was knocked on again, and another fox appeared at the door, who wished to pay his addresses to Mrs. Renard. He had two tails, but he came off no better than the first. Afterwards, another, afterwards others came, each with one tail more. But they were all rejected, till at last one came that had nine tails, like old Mr. Renard. When the widow heard this, full of joy, she said to the cat, Open the gate and doors, be swift, old Mr. Renard's turned adrift. But when the we wedding was about to be celebrated, then Old Mr. Renard, under the bank, aroused himself and gave the whole crew a good dribbling and sent them, Mrs. Renard, and all her 
helter-skelter out of the house. There's your beep. Second tale. When old Mr. Renard really died, the wolf came as a suitor. He knocked at the door, and the cat, who acted as a servant to Mr. Renard, opened it. And the wolf greeted her and said, Good day, Miss Cat of Spellington Wit. How come it is, is that... Whoa, allow you sit. It just beeped, and I don't know what's in there burning, but something's burning. What is in there? So something in there is burning. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, apparently you heard that. I would hope you heard that. That was my smoke detect smoke detectors going off. Yeah, I guess when old Mr. Renard really died, the wolf came as a suitor and knocked at the door. And the cat, who acted as servant to Mrs. Renard, opened it. Then the wolf... Yeah. Okay, friends, that's it for the Shin Show today. I'm going to have to uh, cut out of here. May God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here, and I hope that you are too. Pray for my roommate, Beverly. She, something has just happened and she is not in good shape thank you God bless you